New details this morning about the man accused of trying to kidnap a three-year-old girl in the Bronx. Yeah, the uh, attempted abduction was captured on surveillance video, which police use to track down the suspect. CBS News' John Diaz is live in the Throgs Neck section of the Bronx with more on this stunning video. John. Yeah, stunning indeed, Chris and Mary. Good morning. Well, we are standing right where all this unfolded here uh, yesterday afternoon. However, the police this morning, they are telling us that the suspect here in this case has no criminal record here in New York City. However, he does not speak any English. So right now, detectives, they are working with the translators in order to figure out more details about him. 27-year-old Santiago Salcedo was silent but smiling as authorities walked him out of a Bronx police precinct yesterday in handcuffs. He's facing several charges, including kidnapping and unlawful imprisonment. Cops say he's the man seen in this video wrapped in a blanket trying to kidnap a little girl. Her grandmother panicking and screaming for help while chasing him as the girl's younger brother stand by terrified. She started screaming at her grandmother. My little girl, my little girl, you know. She was hysterical. It's like a movie. This is real life. It was crazy. This man works at the gas station on the corner of East Tremont and Baisley Avenues, near where this happened around 1.15 Monday afternoon. He's seen in this video sweeping the sidewalk, one of the witnesses who jumped in. A lot of people started going towards him, so he must have got scared or something. He dropped the gun. Put the little girl down and just walked away like nothing. The pack of Good Samaritans then started their own search team. We went looking for him, but we couldn't find him. But police did. Officers say Salcedo fled on a scooter, then he ditched it and walked off. Police found him sleeping in the doorway of a nearby business and recognized him from this video. The attempted kidnapping has left this Throgs Neck neighborhood stunned, most praising the hero strangers who made sure this little girl was safe. I'm actually grateful they jumped in to help because honestly, if they didn't, Lord God knows what would have happened to the kid. It's good people, it's nice people. Now, that suspect is expected to appear in front of a judge sometime today. Uh, meanwhile, thankfully, that little girl, that three year old girl, we are told, was not injured. We're live this morning from the Throgs Next section of the Bronx. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thank you.